Myanmar's deposed leader appears in court in person for first since since military coup. Following the military coup in February, Aung San Suu Kyi was put under house arrest and is facing various charges. When they met with her this morning in the capital, Napieto, a lawyer for the 75-year-old said she was in good health. She's been charged with everything from unlawfully owning walkie-talkies to breaking a state secret statute. Ms. Suu Kyi expressed her wishes for the people's well-being and prosperity during the meeting. Public service announcement, according to her legal staff, she also sent a message that said, Our party formed out of the people, so it will survive as long as the people support it. The remarks follow news that the Hunda appointed election commissioner declared her party, the National League for Democracy, NLD, will be disbanded due to alleged election fraud on Friday. The military launched a coup on February 1, citing fears about suspected electoral fraud as one of the reasons for seizing power. Ms. Suu Kyi was arrested that morning and has been kept under house arrest since then. Several of the six charges Ms. Suu Kyi faces were discussed at Monday's trial, which her supporters say are politically motivated and designed to legitimize the military's takeover of power while also discrediting her. Yu Win Mint, Myanmar's president, was also detained and appeared in court this morning to settle his case. Meanwhile, Myanmar's junta leader confirmed Ms. Suu Kyi was in good health ahead of her court appearance and his first interview with international media since the coup. Minadong Lang also denied the number of people killed by security forces, which has risen to over 800 since February, according to the Assistance Association for Political Prisoners. Both cases have been postponed until June 7. If you haven't done yet, please subscribe our channel.